Hello and welcome. My name is Merely Adequate and you're here to learn about redstone clocks. So let's get going. The first clock we have for you today is pretty much the fastest clock in redstone. As a matter of fact, it's so fast that uh, things can't really keep up with it. It thinks it's just a solid signal. Even something as fast as like a trap door. Yeah? So what you have to do is extend it by one more to lower how strong the strength is and then, then it works. And it's uh, super annoying. It's, uh, yeah. Actually, does this work? Oh, it does. Okay, but it still, piston has a maximum speed, so that's, that's all it does. So you have to be careful when you use this one. It's super fast and it could cause problems. The further the length you have on this, the lower the intensity and it actually works a little bit better. Uh, but I wanted to show this to you. Not a lot of practical reasons for it, but it, uh, it does, it is the fastest one I can think of. Now, almost identical to the first one is the second one. Matter of fact, it's basically identical. All we have added is some repeaters in line. And the reason for this is it allows you to delay the signal. See there, it goes and it's off. Goes and it's off. And you can actually change the length that it works by changing the length of the repeaters. You can add more repeaters in here, but that is a very simple one you can make based off of the first one and that's a way to slow it down. Even though it's very simple, I thought we would make it. You're going to start with a comparator, but the trick here is that you want to put it into subtraction mode, okay? And then you have a repeater coming out of it and another repeater coming out of it, and then you flip around and have the repeaters come back, okay? Then we're going to put redstone dust here in the corner, redstone dust on both sides here, and then however you're going to control it or you know trigger it for right here, or you could even put some redstone dust and trigger it here, okay? And then either side, either here or here, can be your output for your mechanism. Oops, not facing forward, obviously. And there we go, and that's how it works. The third clock is my personal favorite. I use it all the time because it uses very few materials and it's very reliable, and uh, yeah, I just like to use it for many, many applications. If you see here, you can turn it on, and it works just fine. You see it blinking away. You can even slow it down if you remove the repeater back and it works just fine. You can power it from lots of locations. You can do it from here or you can power directly off of this upper block. As you see, oopsie, well there you go. The one thing you can't do is have the signal come directly out sideways because as soon as you place down redstone dust, it's no longer connecting to this block and so it no longer works. That's the one thing you can't do, okay? Let's do a quick little build on this. I think it's, I think the picture kind of says it all, but we might as well do a little build so you know how to do it. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is make a little T out of whatever your solid blocks are, and then break the middle of it, okay? Then we're going to have a redstone torch coming back the direction where you're going to start the signal from. We're gonna have a repeater facing forward and then we're gonna put dust below. And that's it. It works. That's all it takes. And you could put a lever or a button, uh, probably a lever, or some kind of control device here to turn it on and off. That's it. Super simple. That's the reason why I make it all the time. I love it. You'll love it. Our fourth example is by far the most flexible one you're going to encounter. It's essentially just tracks that a car is moving around on over to a detector rail and the detector rail will send out a signal every time it crosses it. The reason why it's versatile is because you can put multiple detector rails on and that way you can get a one, two, three, one, two, three. You can have it much, you can extend the length of it. You can slow down the track so that some parts take longer to go over than others. It's really uh, unlimited on what you could do with this one. If you just show you here, we'll uh, power this on. We'll have to get a little bit of push. There we go. And every time it crosses the detector rail, you get a signal. So uh, I'm not really gonna do a demonstration on this one because there's just so many options of what you can do. That there's really, it's just whatever your imagination and whatever your need is. I've seen, uh, I've seen farms where this will go around the entire length of the farm and every time it crosses a, de a detector rail, it sets off part of the farm. 
So it sets off one part, second part, third part, over and over and over. There's like so many things you can do with this one. I just wanted to talk about it. I wanted to point out, sometimes people don't remember this when you're thinking about clocks, that this really is the most versatile one you can do. One of the downsides is, uh, is that it will stop pretty easily and not restart if you load in and out the chunks. So that's one of the biggest problems with this one. But other than that, uh, the most versatile, and that is number four. And last, but definitely not least, the one you've probably all been waiting for, the famous Etho Hopper Clock. <laughs> it's been in the game for a very long time. Etho created it, he's famous for it, and it's, it's, it's amazing. The reason why it's amazing is because you can fill up all five slots with stacks of items, and, that's, and you can vary your time from one to however many it does that fills up the whole hopper. And it works just like this. I have one item in there now, and it's just passing the item back and forth, and this is locking each side, and then it sends a pulse signal out the other side here. So you get signal here, and you get signal here. So if you just wanna power one side, you can, or in, this, in the case of like stone generators or other things, you can pass back and forth using this clock. All right, this is pretty noisy, let's turn it off and let me show you how to build the thing. Okay, first you're gonna to wanna to put down a temporary block and you're gonna want a hopper to go into it. You see sideways, it's going sideways over because then you're gonna want another hopper going into it as well. So they'll basically just pass the items back and forth, okay? And then out of both sides, you're gonna want a comparator going out of it. See there, going out both sides and then you're gonna to wanna to go into a solid block. Great. On top of the solid blocks, we'll put dust there and there. Beside the dust facing in, we're gonna want a piston, not a sticky piston, but a regular piston. And then you're going to want a redstone block on top of one of the sides. Okay, it's not running now because there's nothing in it. So if you put one item into it, there we go, anything, it is running. That's beautiful. Now, let me get uh, some stacks of whatever, stacks of sticks. We can put stacks of sticks in here and it'll run, but much slower. It's gonna wait till it gets all the way down to 64 sticks and then it'll come back over. Super slow if that's what you want or somewhere in between. Let's pull some out. There we go. I have about four or five in there now and it's passing it back and forth. And if you wanna stop it, you just have to power one of the things. You have to power either here, a piston. Uh, you can also power the piston by powering this block here and the redstone that's above it. You can also lock it, I believe, oh no, that is wrong. I was gonna say the hopper, but you can't do that. Okay, that's it. Yeah, by locking one side up, you can stop the clock. Thank you, Etho. We are eternally grateful for the gift that you have given us. <laughs> okay, that pretty much covers everything. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below and I'd be happy to get back to you. Other than that, I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that you found it adequate. <laughs>